Good morning! We are in Asheville right now on a girls trip and for today's video we are just going to be getting ready on camera and just casually talking you through our 2024 reading goals. I actually don't know what your reading goals are even though I edited the, the reading, reading journal. journal. <laughs> yeah, I you didn't read them didn't on the page? Betrayal. So yeah, we are both going into this blind. <laughs> How many do you have? Uh, five. I have seven. That's a good amount because we get okay. We're both odd. You numbers, always so have go. more than me on everything. <sighs> Just an overachiever. The librarian in her, yeah. That's right. Okay. We have very different <laughs> makeup styles. So I will be done in like two minutes <laughs> and she will have just started on her. Correct. Correct. I mean, I'm doing Something. a full face with a smoky eye. Really? Oh yeah. God. All right, so I'm just gonna be sitting here watching you half the time. <laughs> we're not going to talk you through the products we're using necessarily, but we will link them in the description box. All right, my first reading goal this year is to borrow physical books from the library. I already use the Libby app pretty extensively to borrow eBooks and audiobooks, but I want to go to the library and check out physical books. I'm literally a librarian, so <laughs> like, what am I doing? As an adult, I can't remember the last time I got a physical book from the library. I would love to do that more often. I have gone a few times and I have done that, but I always find it very difficult to find any books that I want. Yeah, I, I know that that's it's hard to find like a, a super popular or bestseller type book in that way. Yeah, I end up spending half of the time on my Goodreads scrolling through what I want to read and then trying, trying to, like, to like find trying to want a book yeah being like what on here is available to me but I also think that's just the local library that I go to I should probably try to go to a bigger one yeah it's not the best lighting I've ever done my makeup in but that's what hotel makeup is all about okay well my first reading goal is actually not a reading goal and I actually shouldn't start with this one but I am it's that I don't have a set number of books like my goal is not to get swept up or concerned about the actual quantity of books that I'm reading which I think will be fine I don't normally have that issue like I don't really care the number of books that I've read and it actually always works in my favor because I'm usually pleasantly surprised <laughs> at the number but this is the first year where I've really like set a Goodreads goal and noticed how many other people have set Goodreads goals and I could see it turning into something more competitive than I would want it to be. So a goal of mine is to just like not look at the number or not care about the number. But you are going to track it in Goodreads, right? Of course. So yeah, I just, I don't want to have a set number. My goal is to not make quantity important. Okay, well I do have a set goal. <laughs> When you're like, oh, I can see how it's getting competitive. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah. And I'm gonna win. <laughs> well, okay, this is maybe why it's because I'm gonna lose to you. So I might as well just not make it a game for me. Uh, I mean, obviously, a lot of people read more books than me. I'm not gonna crack 100, that's for sure. My goal is 50. And I feel that I will blow that out of the water. Yeah, I agree. These days, I am doing nothing else. Like my main hobby is reading and makeup. Yeah, especially because like we're talking about it so much. It's so much more fun. That's so true. To, it makes you want to read more yeah, when you have someone to talk more. about yeah. the books about. So your goal is 50? So my goal is 50. Okay. Are you gonna give yourself like an extra prize if you do much more than that? I wasn't going to, but now, yes. Should you put a new uh, spread in your reading journal? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, like, Erin's jealous of my reading journal. I am, actually. It is really pretty. It's sitting in front of me so I can it's read nice. off my goals, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. Will you make one for me? Uh, hell no. I need to get on Storygraph. I'm not on it yet. Yeah, I just like the stats. I like I know. seeing all the different stats pretty graphs and stuff i've seen some people print them out and put them in their reading journal and i could see myself doing that for yeah. sure yeah i've already read four books this year so have you haven't you i'm i've read three and there's two that i'm in the middle of hmm i just finished the wager oh yeah because i i've heard so much good things about it i was not into it i didn't think it was bad but like i'm very confused why it's been a bestseller for this long i didn't find it entertaining incredibly compelling by any means um i told lena the only thing i learned was that to avoid getting scurvy the seamen would eat limes and i don't know why i thought that was so fascinating that was and i was I'm like oh yeah cool I, I already know that fact 
<laughs> she was like, don't read the wager then. There's nothing else for you in this book. <laughs> but I'm glad I read it. I mean, that like ties very nicely into my next reading goal, which is I want to read more lit fic and nonfiction. I want to really like keep learning and keep expanding what I know. Do you know what I mean? And I kind of go back and forth between saying, screw it, I only want to read books that I absolutely like just Have that fun entertain with. me, yeah. you know, like the romances and the romanticies. And you know, like, why should I read things that are kind of a slog to get through sometimes, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But I don't actually believe that. I think it is nice to have a bit of variety and to really push yourself and sometimes to feel uncomfortable in your reading because you're learning and you're accessing different emotions. Yes, that's true. Every time I finish a book like that, I feel really accomplished. I feel like I've stretched a different muscle almost, you yep. know? Um, so that's a goal for mine. Okay, my next goal is to read at least four series. Finish four series, I should say. So what, not start four Not start four series, but if I finish them, then they count. But finish four series in general. Yeah, I don't even think that's like... That's not hard at all. Ambitious, because a lot of series are just trilogies and stuff. Do you have any in mind? Um, I'm... <laughs> Guys, I need to finish Akatar. I loved the second one so much that then I was like, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. But, I mean, not, I do I'm not understand they that. would ruin it, but it it just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. No, well, I comment I, below I get if you get it. <laughs> yeah. But that being said, you need to finish it. Yeah, it's time. I really don't think you're gonna like A Court of Silver Flames, though. So I don't think so either. I'm actually and really that's excited why I'm for like, that. It's gonna be really fun to go on that journey with you and see how you feel. Fun for you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that ties nicely into my next one again, which is very specific, but I want to finish Robin Hobbs' Farseer Trilogy. Oh, yeah. We, we both read the first two. Yeah, and, like, they were, um, they were very, very good. I'm pretty sure I rated them five stars, but it's been a couple of years now. Like and two. Okay, not like yeah, crazy like, long. Not like crazy long. They follow a very normal fantasy formula, in my opinion, where it's pretty slow. And then the last, like, 200 pages is just jammed. It's going down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which always makes you, like, really... Read the next one. Yeah, really excited to read the next one. But I am about... I don't even know. Maybe, like, a third of the way through the third and final in the series. And I've literally been trying to get through it for a year and a half. It's just so long. A lot of people really love Fitz, and I just don't feel that bonded to him. I don't know. I don't mind Fitz, but Fitz has to actually do something. But I'm really excited for the next series, the Dawn... The live, the live ship? Live ship? Li live? I don't know. The ships that are alive? That one. That one. Everybody says that one's incredible. Yeah, and I think I, I would love that one. Yeah, and I feel like just for the sake of doing it properly that I want to finish the Farseer trilogy first. So that is on my list, which I feel like will actually be harder to accomplish than it should be, but I'm going to do <laughs> I it. I agree. That like that is harder to me than me just saying I'm going to finish four series. I, see, I, know, anything. I, mean, I know. I like, know. Um, but on that same goal, my other goal, this is, I guess, my series goal like you, is to do Crescent City series. Crescent City, yeah. Obviously, yeah. given all the hoopla that's going on right now, too, and then the third book coming out, I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, we want to be involved in the wanna, hoopla. <laughs> even though I've been really dragging my feet to read this series, and I've heard so many mixed things, but a couple people that I'm really close to said that it's it's worth it and you should just get through it so that is a goal of mine and that's a guarantee to you in the viewer. 2024 <laughs> i want you to try this what is it it is a bronzer i don't know how to put that on put it where you would put the makeup by mario one like here here yeah like here like here here actually for you i do the top like there nope <laughs> here like here Okay. And here. <laughs> you can, if you blend that out, it will look like you have five o'clock shadow. You're putting it anywhere where you want to like push your face back. Do you know what I'm saying? Like go back in space. Oh, I majorly messed up. I left all of my makeup brushes in your car. 
Oh no. <laughs> now it's suddenly become a makeup challenge. I've left all of my eyeshadow brushes in the car. And it's cold and Real it's cold. too far away. Now I'm gonna do my eye makeup. I'm gonna do a smoky eye. I don't know, okay. Are it's you? not over promise, okay. it's not over promise. And of course I didn't bring any brushes. <laughs> not one. <laughs> Why would I bring brushes? You have them. <laughs> this is really funny. Is it working? It's, I mean, I can't see that well, so yes. Okay, my next reading goal is to read a book by a local author. Oh, I just thought that would be nice. Like, Asheville is like, they've got a ton of local I know. authors here. You should look for one I want today. to like support a smaller author. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a great idea. It's also on my book bingo board, so you know I gotta do it. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. My next one is pretty practical. It is, I will not read past 11 p.m. Wow, mm -hmm. that's impossible. You're not gonna stick to that. It doesn't do me any good. I am always so tired the next day. It's a goal, okay? Aspirational. It's an aspirational goal. I'm sure if I'm reading more nonfiction and lit fic, it won't be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if this makeup turns out even halfway decent, you have to subscribe, okay? Because <laughs> what I'm doing right now goes against everything I've ever believed. Okay, my next goal is read more books from Kindle Unlimited. Yes. Yeah. I pay for it, you know. There's a ton of stuff on there good that stuff. I didn't realize. Such good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of started doing this last year and some of my favorite books of the year I read on Kindle Unlimited. Yeah. I think that that is a very good goal. I might adopt that one as my sixth. Yeah, yeah I recommend it. Do you have any lined up? Um, yeah, I kind of want to do the VE Schwab like <sighs> Threads of Power or whatever. Yeah. I I honestly hope that they are good because I cannot for the life of me find a book of hers that I enjoy. Okay, my next one and last one actually is to reread a couple of favorites. I uh -huh. I never reread books and I think that that's crazy. I love to rewatch shows that are familiar and make me feel good and that I've liked in the and past. And you know you'll enjoy them. Yeah. yeah, and I've always had this mentality of like, why would I reread something when I could try something new, read something new. But I, sometimes I want that familiarity. I want, sometimes you just want to feel good and revisit characters that you really love. This What's year, one that you want to reread? I really want to reread, not the whole Akatar, but I definitely want to reread Court of Mist and Fury because I really think that it like started is special. my love for romanticy. I really want to reread a Madeline Miller book. I went through a huge Greek retelling phase. I think we all did, didn't we? Yeah. Another one that I loved, I have this thing about second in the series. Like I love the second book of series. And for some reason I keep thinking about um, The Subtle Knife, the second in the Golden Compass series. You have been talking about that lately. I don't know. I really liked that book and I can't remember a ton of details in it. Um, and I recently just bought the series to just have on my bookshelf because it's one of my all-time favorites. So I thought I might reread that one. I don't know how how it will work to just jump into the middle of a series. And I don't have the time or energy to read the to entire read the whole thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. But I might try it. But I, yeah, no, I think it will. that will be enjoyable. I think you'll be surprised and you'll remember more than you think you do. That's what I was hoping for. So yeah, that's my final goal of the year is to just reread some favorites remember what I loved and yeah. Do you see me creating a smoky eye with my fingers? Close your Sorta. eyes. Sorta. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> Is it bad? Is it bad? I don't know. You just need to somehow blend it out. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> with my brushes. Like with this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm in the car, I'm gonna be like. Blending it out? Yeah. All right, my next goal is to read two books that are over 1,000 pages. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is gonna happen anyway. Yeah. And sometimes in past years, I've found myself not reaching for a really big book because I'm like, no, the Goodreads goal, it's better to read three 300 page books than one long one. Yeah, I get that. And that's exactly the kind of thing I'm yeah, trying to I'm avoid. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah. So I'm gonna make it a point 
of intention to read at least two really long ones. Any of the Akatar books are like almost a thousand yeah, I pages. Yeah, I figured Akatar will Certainly. probably get me there alone. But I like that, and I agree. I'm gonna do the third Mistborn too, and that looks like a beast. Yay! Yeah, that'll be so fun. She is quickly becoming my one of my all-time favorite MCs. The more yeah, I know. She's the best. She actually is. The more you think about it and compare yeah, her to other main characters, yes. you're like, man, if Vin were in this situation, she'd I clean know. up. <laughs> yeah, and like, it's so refreshing that she's just like incredibly good at what she does. Yeah. It doesn't mean that she doesn't make mistakes. I mean, she makes some very large yeah, mistakes. Totally. But I keep comparing her. She's you're not being right. dumbed down at all. Like. No. I'm so over this like trope of the overpowered female main character who doesn't know how to use her massive power yeah what's the point of being overpowered it's, and they never even try like practice bitch yeah they never actually practice and everybody's like you're so powerful and they don't know how to use it and they don't seem to care there's no urgency for them to figure out how to use it or yeah i don't know it's just i'm so sick of reading that and i, I know hate, it like builds it's up tension being told as i've shown like i'm being told they're so powerful yeah but they don't even know how to use their powers so are they yeah, and then of course it only comes out at like the final moment when they will literally... All odds are against them. Yeah, and then it's just like, all right, well... My next goal is a goal I always have, and that is to read diverse authors and stories. Um, I love me some own voices books, and I always make it a goal to incorporate diverse perspectives. You know, it's just good to branch out. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if I've used this one before, and it's blushy. Maybe I put too much on. I think it looks great. How's it going over there? It's going. I feel like I have no idea what I look like right now. You know what I mean? I think it looks good. Okay, we had some trials and tribulations, but we are ready now. <laughs> as ready as we'll ever be. I hope you enjoyed hearing our 2024 reading goals. What are your reading goals? I want more. <laughs> yeah let us know in the comments below like this video if you liked this video uh all right so now we're headed out to go book shopping yes. get a coffee hopefully it's not too cold but it is Asheville in January so we're probably we're gonna going bundle to up ruin everything we've done here yes okay until our next video see you soon